Today we're going to be unboxing the Weather XM and we're going to be uh, setting it up in the app as well as I'm going to show you where I'm going to be setting it up in my yard. Anyways guys, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So you guys might have noticed I actually have two Weather XMs and that's because one of them I purchased and if you go to Cosmic Equipment's website and use code MATLONG6, you'll get 10 pounds off your first order. And the second one is because I'm actually hosting with them. And if you guys are interested in hosting, then you basically get to have one of these for free in the way and you get a percent of the rewards just by hosting it for them, then definitely email them at support at cosmicequipment.co.uk and tell them that Matt sent you. Anyways, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Ooh, it's big and blue. Weather XM D1 Wi-Fi is the version I got. There are three versions of this thing, I believe. So definitely do some research before you go out and buy one. Okay, here we go. Ooh. And it comes with the guide. Good. I'm going to need that. One thing that I really appreciate about the Weather XM is that it is solar panels. Ooh, I don't even know what this part is. Maybe it's like a control panel. Um, I'm sure I'm going to learn that in a moment. And under that is a USB-C cable. Okay. What else is in this? I think this is a mount of some sort. It has screw holes. Oh, that's where you put batteries in case you need backup battery. Some mounting stuff, zip ties. Oh, know which direction the weather is pointing. Kind of like um, the chickens on top of barns. And the actual device itself, the main portion of it. And that's everything. Okay, guys, now I'm going to quickly set it up so you know what it will look like when it's done. So while assembling this um, battery extension pack, I learned that it actually takes eight batteries and then you're going to put these dummy batteries into the actual Weather XM and then you can screw it up. So then now it would look like that. Okay guys, so I basically have this assembled now. Also, I had to peel this right here to expose the solar panel. And I just ordered a mount to put it on my shed in the backyard, or I'm not sure where I'll put it. And I have two of them, so I'll have to think about that. They are allowed to be really close to each other. They're just not supposed to touch each other. So if you need help learning how to assemble this or set this up, and later I'll show you what it looks like when it's on the pole, then definitely take a look at the setup guide and I'll have it linked down below as well. So the first thing we need to do is obviously just install their app. So this is the first time I've ever opened this app. So I'll show you what it's like to quickly make an account as well. So sign up, email and name. Now let's go to your email, activate your account, and now you need to put in your password. And now log into the app. So this part is optional and you can change it later in the app. I'm going to hit sounds good. And now it says no stations available. So now we're going to add this to the app. So let's hit the plus button, select which one you have. I have the D1. Let's begin station claiming. So the first thing you're going to have to do is find the little gateway that came in your box and go ahead and plug it in with the USB C cable that it came with. So to charge this thing, they have two options. You can charge on the very bottom here or just on the back, which is gonna be a lot easier. The reason they do that is because if you wanna mount it on the wall, you use that one. If you wanna use the kickstand, then you use the one on the back. So I just plugged it in, it's now powering on. Sorry, I can't screen capture this, but I'll do the best I can. Okay, so uh, on the device, we're gonna to have to uh, scroll left. So let's go to uh, Wi-Fi config and set up the internet. So to configure your Wi-Fi of your Weather XM station, what you're going to want to do is go to the Wi-Fi settings and then connect to Wi-Fi called this. When you're connected, it'll probably be connected without internet. Go ahead and open up your web browser and go to the number that they give you on the gateway. So in my case, it's 10.10.0.1. Oh, perfect. And now what you're doing is you're gonna tell the Weather XM gateway what your password is. So go ahead and connect to the internet. In green letters, it now says connecting. 
and on the phone it says success. So now that this has booted, in order to add this Weather XM, we're gonna scroll on over and click claim device. Next, we need to scan the QR code. Next, you need to do allow it to uh, use the device location. So next, you need to drag and drop the location of where your Weather XM is actually going to be on the map. And now it's claiming your station, so it takes about two minutes. There it goes, it says station claim. So now let's go to the station. So you can see here that it says no data, and that's because we still need to go physically set it up on the pole. So let's head on over there now. Well guys, originally my plan was to put it right here on my shed. However, I'm not gonna be able to put the Weather XM there because trees right above it. So that's annoying. And if you look over there, I was gonna put it on the other side, but then the wall would be blocking the wind. So I, I decided to move it somewhere else. So instead I asked if I could put it right here. So this is where it is. The other one's in the background. And just some quick notes. Um, this is what it looks like when it's all set up and done. This is the bird thing, so birds can't go on it. That's optional. Here's the extra battery pack right here. Um, I probably should put more screws in. This should say, I think that says what way the wind is going. This will measure how fast the wind is going. So that's the solar panel. And uh, some quick notes is that you need to make sure you know which way is west, which means this is going to be north. And you also need to make sure that bubble is as center as you can get it. So yeah, that's what it looks like set up. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to use my code MATLONG6 if you want to buy your own Weather XM on Cosmic Equipment's website. Or if you'd like to host, be sure to email them and learn more about that. Tell them Matt sent you. If you guys want to see how much money this actually makes every single month, then definitely subscribe because the first Saturday of every month, we do a live stream where I share how much money the Weather XM and my other D-Pen devices make. Anyways, thank you for watching. And as always, stay safe, watch out for scams, and God bless. Peace. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Weather XM and the. Uh,